Hi, and welcome to what is going to, I promise, be the final chips and update. Um, this is simply an update to say that basically last time I done this video and some sound bites, um, there was an issue with the wiring. I have since rectified that. Um, if you watched earlier videos, you'd realise that I went for, I say realise, may remember, but I went for a Jimmy Page with a page esque 50s wiring setup with four push pull pops, etc., etc., which was just nothing but a nightmare. Um, I bought it as a complete wiring loom, that turns out wasn't 100% correct. Um, that in conjunction with using pickups that weren't Seymour Duncan and the wiring, obviously, the colorations and stuff being different, which to be honest, I'm 100% sure I worked out right. And my mate reckon he worked out right, who, who then had a look at it. And, but yeah, it, it was never right. It was always like 95% right in that when you had the pickup selector in the middle with all the pots in their standard down positions, it sounded like it was in the out of phase um, sound, sound setting, which was meant to actually be that. Um, and then if you did have it out of phase, which obviously means using both pickups, um, and then, so you were playing something, and then was like, what, well, I hit it into, into bridge, humbucker, or single coil, smack it down, it would be dead, it would be no sound whatsoever. Which apparently is, yeah, again, quite a common fault on the page-esque wiring, in that there's quite often dead spots. Um, but, yeah, just what a ball ache, just unnecessary, etc, etc. So, yesterday, which was Boxing Day, so Merry Christmas, y'all, um, yeah, just stripped it back took out all the unnecessary wiring and just put kept it as um coils yeah coil split I keep saying coil tapped but coil tapping and coil splitting are different things altogether aren't they so yeah coil split so it's just two humbuckers coil split through their relevant volume um and just standard tones which are still push pull but because i couldn't be asked to take the pots out and swap them over but just all the extra wiring is gone. Just a, a neater bay with a lot less wiring. Um, so yeah. Um, so this is it. It is done. From the head to the tail, a lot of it has been replaced. But as I said before, small disclaimer, this is my guitar, my Chibson, not a Gibson. I've never claimed it was a Gibson. Um, and therefore, yeah. It's my, yeah, again, labour of love, whatever you want to call that. Um, so yeah, different tune as it now has close and deluxe is in it. Um, different truss nut cover. Um, yeah, again, more of a sort of uh, tulip bell tusk nut. Um, Levelled all the frets. Um, different pickups. Yeah, again, my fret levelling was an absolute ball ache, but it was just one of those things that I've, I've wanted to do for quite some time. Um, and what better opportunity than on a, a cheap guitar that if it went absolutely peat on, I wouldn't have really cared about. Um, so yeah, but they've come out brilliantly. There's not a dead note on the fretboard, which, as a lot of chips and buyers will find out, quite often the frets aren't the best. Um, Pickups are Iron Gear Tesla Sharks, so Iron Gear's take on the Slash pickup, or the AFD pickup by Seymour Duncan. Um, the wiring loom, as we've spoke about, which comes with a Switchcraft switch, Switchcraft Switchcraft input, and Bourne's pots, so all very good stuff. And swapped out a bridge to one with smaller poles, so a little bit more authentic looking, and the cream plastic input surround again to make it a little bit more authentic and other than that from the factory I went for the one piece neck option again to look more authentic for me again I am not selling this guitar this guitar is for me and was a project and that is it it is now done so next project I shall perhaps show you in my next video um so yeah so now it works um Completely clean amp. Um, it's a really bright guitar as well. 
um, compared to the Gibson BFG, which I've shown in a previous video. Um, so Bridge Humbucker. <laughs> Neck. Um, next single coil. Both single coil. Bridge single coil. So, bridge humbucker through the JHS mod of Soul Food. Everything on full. Neck. it really it makes noises and like I say not a dead spot sorry got caught on the strap I never play that high up anyway <laughs> um Devices black eye backing it up to push it as I'm going through on my various pedal boards, but I shall show you again. So that's just for Rothwell. Rothwell with a black eye. watching um yeah perhaps the next project is next on the list cheers bye bye